We are going straight into a live round, so let's see how we do. I'm going to pick up with Future here, who's got a really nice spawn for an SMG on the attacking side. Let's find out where they're actually going to go, because Nexus are renowned on this map, but I haven't seen them play it too much. They're looking up to avoid the nades. does manage to avoid all of them, darting around with such grace towards back A, with absolutely no resistance. Spots Raz in mid, but not for long, as he's dropped down with that beautiful SMG work. KZ start picking up one for himself on the Katana. Future Duffer. spins around, takes down Duffer. What were you doing, the Duff machine? And Future can almost smell the play in front of him. Duffer and takes down Elking as well. Future on a mission. Explosive and now one round remains for Golden Oldies. And that is Elking. Can he win? That is the question. It's the question on everyone's lips. And no, he can't because KZ Star is there. And what a start for a Nexus. Yes, indeed. They're really, they are the team to watch for this map. I'm just going to literally just see, kind of trying to analyse how they're playing. Nonetheless, let's to go away with Future again. As we do see one player, I believe KZ start on his way to B. Jermaine onto Garden Wall, not going to happen. Elkin with two swift frags, one onto his teammate though. So we are still on 4v4. Smoke everywhere. Raz going on the aggressive through bricks. Does have the bomb in his hands, and surely that is an advantage he does not want to throw away. The next is on the disadvantage though. 4v3. Future almost convinced that Raz is around bricks. <coughs> As he does. Proceed towards them. Check in that corner is Raz. Raz goes down quickly. Elking responds though. And still back into a 3v2. Deadstar has got all the way over there towards Ruins. However, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do much. He's heavily tagged by Elking. Kana watching him. one of his exits. Revolts his other. And he is just spraying for dear life. Stormy comes around with ASMG. Brings it back to 2v2 though. And KZ Star looking to escape, gets heavily tagged by Katana. Katana finally takes him down with that Deagle, which he seems to be doing so well with. And we are into 2v1. Only Scott the bomb down though. Does give him a slight advantage. Revolts and Katana remain, both with AKs in hand, looking for to get that pick before they proceed into the bomb search. Stormy does have the SMG as he does spot one. Oh, and JCB, Revolts are really going to cost him there. As Katana gets that smoke out towards the bomb. Does look to be making his way up the ladder. And Stormy's watching it. Oh! He was watching it anyway. And what? <laughs> Stormy. Um, um, well. Stormy? Genuinely, well. as he began to walk away from that ladder, he caught a little... You know, I don't know what he saw. <laughs> Nothing is what he saw, let's be honest. <laughs> wow. Okay, folks. So watch that one back. Hopefully our streamer caught that because that was baffling by all accounts. We do see a bit of a B push coming out from the attacking side, which is a Nexus. That charge being led by Zikox, but not for long because Katana stands up and stands tall, taking down two players, which was KZ Star and Stormy. But the uh, Golden Oldies have truly got their teeth into this round, only leaving Jermaine standing for a Nexus. And he is the Supreme Merc. But how Supreme can he be with four men standing in his way of this round? Bomb not within his hands as well. This could be another round on the board. Well, the first round on the board for Golden Oldies. Now, getting spotted from Tin. He's got to be careful. He's not being careful at all. And El King truly does win. As he takes him down and gets a real vital score on the scoreboard, finally, for Golden Oldies, after three rounds. Alright then. See what we've got going on here. Katana making his way aggressive onto mid. Let's see what he does with it. He's got the scope, gets the nade out towards Garden. A nice play from Jamie. Gets the frag alongside his teammate. Stormy. So now suddenly a Nexus, I can't help but feeling the way they're playing this is kind of so varied. They go from this aggressive mid push with Future leading the way and suddenly we do see Stormy way back in Elbend by Yellow Cart with the bomb. Just sat there, taking his time, doesn't want to commit and that was a sublime shot onto Duffer. Opens up that mid and suddenly we are dropped into a 2v2 tense close quarters action here. Raz on the push towards Stormy, making his way past Tank. There he is about to come around that corner. Stormy gets punished. Does have the bomb now. And Raz in a very similar situation to last time. As it suddenly becomes a 1v1. Zikox knows Raz has got that bomb. But he's definitely not expecting a rotate from Raz. And that is exactly what Raz is doing. Zikox makes his way over. Oh, don't you dare. No, I thought Zikox was about to run through mid and peek him. But thank God for that. Raz has done a marathon in the meantime though. And has rotated all the way back round. Can you believe it? Oh, if I was Zikox, I would, my mind would have been blown. As Raz is on tank, looking to push him though. Oh, and Raz, great SMG control there to bring it 2-2. And go. They're keeping him under control.
Can you believe it? I'm, I'm horrified myself. I'm going to watch Zikox here as he does have the attacking front spawn with the SMG. Surely means you have, you know, the choice of where you want to go. Drops out an A towards B just to keep that player from the end to get into tin too quickly. Duff again, the first frag onto Future with a nade. And now the push is coming out from a Nexus. Can they claw back a frag to bring it even to the strength? You can see a real cluster of players around that tin area. This is a real beehole from Golden Oil. He's quite a interesting strat. Zikox prowling around behind them. Truly going the long way. He's not too sure where to go, but Katana does as he takes down KZ so with a lovely little headshot. Here's a player right in front of him. Zikox just needs to throw it at the very right time. He does do just that. L King does not wing this time, guys. And now a Nexus have racked up two quick frags. Jamie, aka Jermaine, taking down Katana, the scope, leaving it in a three on three. Raz in Midhouse converging on a player. Is he above him? I don't know where this player is, but Raz spots one of Bricks and absolutely misses the shot, but Duffer's there to pick it up. And now was Stormy and Jamie. Jermaine takes down Duffer, two on two, We're very even. Zaycox with a frag onto ZT Lover, which is Revolt, and now Raz has to go huge. It's going to be rather awkward to do so, even with Jamie now, aka Jermaine, dropping down from Midhouse, and Raz going walkabouts from Rat. I'm surely Zaycox will spot him here. Let's find out. He's just behind that wall, and he's not able to see it, but we can see it on our radar, can't we, folks? And now... It's all on Raz. 25 seconds on the board. And here comes the peak and here comes the frag. But oh no, here comes the tag, but not the frag. Zikox switches up to the SMG, but Raz is away. The eagle to hand. Darting around like an absolute madman. 15 seconds on the board. Plant coming in from Jamie. And there's Whoa. the frag anyway. <laughs> Doesn't need to see the player to get it. Jermaine, what a play. Leaving us with a, once again, 4 on 5. Will there be another Nexus timeout? Oh, doesn't appear to be. Still, gonna go with Future. Got the fast A spawn. See if he can beat those aggressive gonades. And it looks like he has. And now, see, you're gonna have to explain this one to me, Lauren, because when I am sat there on the server, I mean, I'm not, I'm certainly not on a Nexus player, but I'll be sat there with the SMG. I'll, I'll be trying to rush bricks, and there will be two or three nades landing there. Now, what is it that means go? Just do not throw it, or are, are they landing late? It's, it's, it's you a, say look up, but I mean, no, seriously, you're Future's eyes are on the ground there. To be That's fair, the young. first round he did really test the waters with his rush. You know, there was one quick nade, but it wasn't quick enough. So indeed, feels confident. Dealt three v two, future and storm. Mate. Future not going to go down to Katana's deagle for once. Katana doesn't come out on top in that close battle, which he's been doing so well with previously. As the bomb now has to be defused by Revolts. Revolts is holding it. Going to go down though, Stormy, causing absolute havoc with the AK, and suddenly. 1v1, time not on Raz's side, looking to hold the defuse, is Future pushing him? Yes he is, 4-2, and a Nexus extend their lead. Well played then, and let's pick it up with Future, let's see if he does what I do, I, I say he does. If they go A, I'm sure he'll stand by that little corner, we'll look up and check if the nades are coming, he doesn't need to do it too long, if they're there, th there we go, right now he's checking it, there's one fast nade, he's going to wait by the wall, nothing should land there, time to dart around. That's as simple as it is, and that's how you get to A, folks. There's no real players getting to A for Golden Orders yet, finally a player decides to Oh, adventurous and dart in, but Jermaine kicking us off in the right direction for our Nexus, taking down Katana. There's two players in A. Future going to be coming into a world of trouble if he's not too careful. Not too sure where that player is, right around him. Could be above, maybe below, but there's the first shot being rung off by the player, and Gerdes does tag off his teammate. Jermaine going huge here, folks, taking down two players, Katana and Elking, down together. But now, Golden Oldies have to be careful. Revolts on the push, taking down Zikos and Future just went on below him. There's Duffer, and not for long as there we go. Future finally takes him down. And now, advantage with a Nexus. Truly made by Jermaine at the start of that round, really making all the odds, leaving Raz and Revolt in a bit of a tricky situation. Explosions Raz on the prowl, spots on a tank, does get the tag, but not the frag. Does tag up here, is Jermaine the star player of the moment? Can he get the frag? No, he can't. He absolutely fluffs it up, and Raz, what are you doing? Stormy clearing up the mess that was Revolt. But Raz has got to be kicking himself for that frag. Giving the advantage truly now to an exit for the attacking side on five rounds to so only two defensive. Yeah, and it's really interesting to see the way these SMGs are playing. Future and Zikox working great as a partnership. This time I'm going to go with Zikox as he's making his way straight towards middle. This time though, Raz with a nice nail onto Yellow Calf stops him in his tracks and Future. Now the SMG to watch looks to take down Duffer the what? Duffer, Duffer the just showing his little turban and Future all over that. Then we are on 4v3. Go, do have the advantage though. And I think it's, it's worth pointing out that Nexus are winning 5 for 2 with 4 players. <laughs> I just had to confirm that. I was just looking at Tab for a second. Nope, yep, they are playing with 4, ladies and gentlemen. This is their map. This is why I don't know why I'm not, you know, writing this down. Because this is how works. you beat Golden Oldies.
with four players on back lock. Elking still gets swift too. Future not looking to give him the third. Looks very likely though as the bullets come flying oh. in towards bottom A house. It's going to be a revolt to take him down. And that becomes 5-3. Indeed, and I, I do just seem to want to follow the SMGs because Zikox has got another lovely spawn here. Darting straight through, doesn't worry about the great card name. Maybe he should have because Revolt is not going to miss that one. The man is drilled in and he stops the quick push coming out from the next thing. Only two, well, three players standing now. Future game tagged up from El, El King's there and El King is dropping it like it's hot. Taking down two, Jermaine with a reply. Shuts down Revolt and El King. Jermaine being absolutely pivotal for an Exus right now. On 10 to 5, the man is leading the way on the scoreboard with frags. With only uh, Future behind, missing out on one kill so far. Raz and Katana left at B. Stormy with another frag onto Duffer. And now Katana scoping up towards Elben and maybe he's going to stop Stormy. Stormy, yes he is. And there's the frag with the Deagle up. <laughs> there was an SMG. Ringing out so quickly. And Katana with another sublime shot onto he's Jamie. On AKA Jermaine. He is truly on it like Gromit. And uh, Future calling out Rocket. And I'm sure uh, there's a little bit of irony in that statement considering who's saying it. With uh, all the accusations that flew around. <laughs> And we Katana getting his nade out towards mid. Not going to prevail this time. Nexus going for the split though. Three on the way to B. Future on his play on A. And still, Nexus coming out on top of the opening frags. Jamie and KZ star leading the way. Future interaction on A. Comes out on top as well. Duffer going down to his SMG. KZ star takes down the scope. And where is Elking? Elking just pooing himself. B site as the bomb <laughs> makes its way quite swiftly and carefree into the A site. Where on earth? Can Elking go? That is the question. They've got all these spots locked down. Not mid house though. Okay, Zen Star absolutely spanked on the uh, on the mid peak. And Elking looking to clear a one v three up. One on ruins, one in mid house, and one. It looks like he's pushing him. His future put on the aggression. Not going to happen. Stormy just making sure it's not even within his grasp. As we do see six four, and we're just waiting on those last two rounds. I can't help but feel. That, uh, that Go are almost giving up. And I know it's only 6-4, but I just think mm. Go are kind of like... A Nexus just did, like took three rounds, three or four rounds off us yeah. with four players. A fifth's here now. I've just got naded. I'm Duffer, and I'm not <laughs> I'm not really confident anymore. Indeed. So let's see if Raz can be a little more confident than his buddies. Made his way to Rathole. Does get the tag and the frag onto KZ. So with a sublime headshot. And now can he keep up the pace? Three on three situation. Katana chimes in with one for himself onto Jermaine. He's been making a hell of a lot of difference so far for the Nexus side. The superstar Merc, some might say. Raz getting tagged up from Elben. He's got to be careful because Stormy's eyes are trained there. Another headshot rings out in the direction of Golden Oldies. Leaving it a two on two with the bomb down. Future holding firm on the A site. He's feeling a little pinned in. You can see him almost nervously twitching. He's got to be careful because Katana's just dropped down his only hope, which was Stormy. And now 1v2. Can Future bring it back and cement another round on the scoreboard for a Nexus? Let's find out. 21 seconds and ticking. Of the step peak, and he should have been just so as he takes down revolts. One man stands between Future and this beautiful clutch that is unfolding in front of him. 12 seconds, make it 10. The fake has come out. It is Katana against Future, and the clock is ticking. And Future's got to be happy with this one. Darting out towards Bricks and does miss the shot, but the plant is there. Darts back round and well played to Future. Very cautious, careful, and clinical play from him. Yeah, I mean, you snailed the nail on the head there with Snail. Nailed the nail on the head. Nailed the nail with the hail on the mail. That's exactly what he did. I mean, Future literally just sat in. He, he kind of, he knew exactly what to expect. As a nature just balances past Future's face to land on the Super Merc. As I'm going to have to go with Future again, as he's do, really doing the aggression, which I like to see from a Nexus. It's not so common. But maybe I could be, I could be wrong. Backlot is one of their maps. I mean, 4v2 though. Not looking like it's paid off at the moment. Three players stacked into the A site now from Go. Stormy does have the bomb though in Elbin, enabling that possibility of a rotate. Only player to stop it is Katana, as he's doing his favoured push around. Raz though takes down Stormy, looking for the second that onto Future. It's going to be Duffer to take him down 7-5, and actually a satisfactory half for yeah, the uh, Gold Noddies. So, uh, yeah, Duffer asking the question that's on everyone's lips. Why are we playing? You know... I believe that after having to get, you know, a Merc in today, which is Jermaine, who is fake nicking as Jamie, who may not have even been on the roster, all of this, you know, it's it's a little bit questionable. It's going to be rather unfruitful, let's just say, for an Nexus, even if they do win this. Um, 
I do love this game so far, don't get me wrong, folks. It is so close and it's been fantastic. But Gold and Oldie surely are thinking, why am I staying motivated right now? You know, I, I, I could be chilling. You know, and, and even Duff is pretending to have girlfriends and, and people like that. But, you know, it's, it is questionable and it's quite hard to stay motivated. But surely for the love of the game and just for the prestige of beating them, Gold and Oldies want to put this in the bag. So it really cement themselves into the position of going, actually, do you know what? We're not bad at this. So, Rans, I believe, is about to address us with a delightful question, I can imagine. Sure He's just waiting for us to ready up. Oh, it was waiting for you to ready up, you I'm so sorry. Hideous person. But uh, I believe Elking's quite a nice spawn, so we could pick it up with him. I believe he is uh, shotgunning currently, but I'm sure they'll switch up to an AK, which is done just so. Makes his way through towards Rathal, darts into mid, just to alleviate, get some real height on his peak, and there's a player just below him towards Rathal. He does get the tag, but not the frag, and there's the frag finally coming in. Taking down Zikos to Katana, one for himself, Duffer with another Raz following suit, and now one man stands between Golden Oldies and a rather quick round. Can you believe it? Oh, is it sensational stuff, and I can't help but feeling this is a kind of a whole new level of uh, Golden Oldie right now. They're really kind of getting the aggression on the Nexus, kind of just pin them down, stop them from getting into these stupidly well thought out angles. And uh, right now, I'd be uh, I'd be wrong in not watching Raz. Raz is pushing bottom ruins. There's a player right there on his right, surely going to push him. As we do Ooh, see a B orientated split. There's a player just literally round next to him right now. If he had cheats, KZ stuff finally gets get punished. Nice play from Raz there. <laughs> wow, future telling us how it <laughs> future is. Future has just absolutely Bring decimated himself. Bring it out. Bring it out. Do, do say what he just said. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> oh, the bomb drop from Future was in fact that. Uh, I mean, Messi also can take the uh, take the premium out of the 750 that ESL owe them. So, I mean, there's debt to be paid there from ESL, as we are currently on a 3v3. I have been ensured, though, that ESL will pay it. They just are taking their time at the moment. Still, 3v2 now. Nice play from Stormy alongside Future as well. Bomb down. Katana's going to be regretting that, as now the defensive side can just zone in on that bomb site. Well, bomb, rather, which is just next to the B bomb site. Where is Raz? Raz on the way towards mid. If he can take down this mid player, is Jamie. Oh, if he comes round, Jamie's not looking. He's going to get that frag, and that's going to open up a world of possibilities if he had grabbed that AK. Instead, opts for the Deagle. And I can't see this going his way. Stormy playing cool on tin. The player is Future, and Future's surely going to get the frag. Does so. 8 6, and a Nexus emerge once again victorious. Oh, let's not give too much hate towards Messi. Oh, so they're bringing us a brilliant game right now, which wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for ESL oh, holding another more. EMS, of course. So it's always appreciated, and we do, you know, obviously enjoy the forever supporting ESL within EMS. So Raz now on the push once again. Future taking down Duffer. KZ are joining in because he felt left out then, but Elking finally replies, shutting down Stormy and leaving it in a 4v3. Advantage to a Nexus, but Raz is once again just playing the wall where a player is awaiting. Elkin getting tagged up, but not to go down. Raz, get pushing. Make it exciting. He's doing just that, but not in the right way as KZ Star takes him out and leaving it all on Elking now because KZ Star is going huge. And where is Elking held up? In an almost L bend. So let's find out if he gets the frag onto Future. Gets the tag, but not the frag. Darts across and Future's there. There's a wall in the way. It doesn't matter because his eyes were trained on that frag. Leaving the scoreline now just ever, you know, just getting away almost from Golden Oldies. They seem so firm in that first round. Yeah, I mean, it definitely is certainly looking more and more like a Nexus are uh, uh, getting back into the swing of things. Two nades confirm this round almost, as uh, we're going to have to see a severe comeback from Golden Oldies for this. Let's go with Katana, gets a great smoke shot onto Kata uh, KZ Star as he was jogging his way through Bomber. His player on rattle though, Zikox just waiting for his push alongside Futures Frag onto Duffer Revolts. Left to go absolutely massive. Does have the bomb in Elben. Not going to last long though. Zikox Deagle confirms it. 10 6, and a Nexus extend their lead. Yeah, Nexus have really kicked it up a gear as such. They've sat back and thought, guys, let's not even let them get into this round. You know, there's been a little bit of banter back and forth in chat. And now let's pick it up with Duffer, the SMG powerhouse for Golden Old. He's going for the side A route. And should avoid the Nexus player just to his right. He's got to be careful. He is doing just that. He misses the shot, but then finally lands a headshot onto Stormy. Three players back. Hey, could this be an absolute feast for the. Uh, Irish powerhouse, let's find out. Okay, so let's start getting the frag onto Raz. Duffer twitching around, not too sure, very NTT style. Just wants to keep that mouse moving, keeping his reflexes ready to go. Spots Jamie, there's Jermaine down, and now only two remain around A. And the players from Golden Noise are really infiltrating the site. And 
Let's see if it's doing any good, and it's doing perfectly good as Katana takes down Zekos, but allowing Future to walk in Larae. Now he's really amongst the walls with three players remaining for Golden Oil. He's definitely getting tagged up from top B. Duffa has to retreat as KZ Star's bullets were really penetrating his skull there, and somehow he manages to survive. But I can see there's a player really encroaching on his position. It is Revolt. Deagle to hand. He's got to be careful not to be spotted here because he's got the bomb at B all by his lonesome. So if Revolt gets taken down, this could be what? absolutely critical. But Duffer gets the frag on to Future. Now Revolt in a little bit of trouble. Gets the one dig. Takes down KZ Star. Let's bring the, the scoreline a little bit closer. Keeping Golden Oldies with a chance and the even a glimpse into this game. Thank you. And Stormy, Stormy, Stormy. Obviously he has dropped scope. That's worth mentioning. As he lines up, I can only assume is a late Elben Nady fails it. That I think is that is a record. We've just seen an Anexus player fail a backlot late Nady. That's right, and can manage wow. to catch revolts. Still, moving swiftly on Anexus, do have that lead once again. These two nade frags go really can't afford to be giving them. As at the moment it is four v one. Katana makes it four one v three though. As he's gonna eventually get taken down by future. Eleven seven and Anexus certainly making this map theirs. Yeah, they're not letting this go for a second. So let's pick it up with Zikox here. He's got a nice spawn for pushing around B just to secure that lower B area to allow you know, and maybe an AK to peek up from top B. Let's find out how they want to play this, dropping out the smokes and the nades. Golden Oldies looking like going for a bit of a mid split to B, so this could work really well for Zikox. The nade does land the tag, but not the frag. There's a player darting out just behind him. He's got to be careful because Duffer is there. And Duffer's just got those eyes trained on the peak. Revolts with one for himself. Raz on the push towards top B. Spots a player it is. KZ star, but not for long. As Elkin gets one for himself, and it's only leaving German. Main, and this could be the round that just brings it ever closer for Golden Oldies, keeping them even with a hope into this game so far. And Elfing cementing that round for the uh, Golden Oldies side. Hmm. What's Raz going to bring to the table at the moment? He has got a very fast spawn. However, I think, is it an AK he has? Maybe not. I think it's still his SMG. He's just going for that aggressive B play as once again a Nexus Nade chimes out. And that is becoming a far too common sight. Finally, though, Katana returns the favour. Raz landed a tag as well. As he makes his way toward top ruins, KZ start begins to push him. Not going to last long though. Jermaine, absolute tremendous play, manages to stop him in his tracks, and we're right into a 4v3. Supermerc did his job there. Tana spots one bottom ruins. Not going to get the frag though. Duffer with the bomb onto A. Let's go with him just to see how he tries to weasel this bomb in. Gets the first frag onto Jamie. That's the only player actually on the A side. There's one just outside. The makes his way towards Brick. Sommy. And KZ start goes to kills his teammates. Sorry, I'm getting confused here. We do see 1v2. And he does hold that plant. He manages to get it down. Looks to retreat. No, not going to last long. Back to two NX's players remaining. Nothing going to go on for Golden Oldies. And it was in 12-8. Dude, and Nexus just putting their stamp on this map, not even allowing Golden Oldies to have a chance at saving us from just as of yet. And guys, if they bring it back now, if Golden Oldies even think about bringing this back, I will... Oh, I would be all over my room. All over your room? In what fashion? In di well, that's for you to find out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, do ask him later in what fashion he did <laughs> intend to be all over his room. But uh, Future now, taking himself towards A, drops out the nade, does get dropped himself by Katana. So it's picking up with him, scoping on back lot, always questionable, but going rather well because he's on 19 to 14. Top fragging for Golden Oldies. But uh, Anexus taking a stand. Jermaine and Sormi, one each, taking down Duffer and Elking, and the push is coming, and it's coming in fast and thick from Jermaine. Zikox with two for himself as well, and there's the 13 8. And well, I think we caught it from the start, but still, I couldn't believe how much of a, you know, a resistance Golden Oldies put up. My shield and return to me. Um, I'm just interested in the map choice. Uh, I think we've seen yeah, oh, cr oh. Crash. Okay. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm sure people from Phantasmagoria have something to say about Crash and the. Uh, oh, really? Do elaborate. Well, you know, uh, one of the lands just gone. They absolutely trolleyed a Nexus the first time. Uh, maybe in groups. So, are we going to see that Super Mike giving them some tips, perhaps? Well. Well, you say that, Jermaine, you know, truly stormed a Nexus first time they played. And then I believe it was in the finals, and Nexus chose it again. And, I, and, and surely Phantasmagoria thought, do you know what? Yeah, we got this. That is interesting. But, oh no, a Nexus had gone back that day, they'd had their laptops out, surely. They'd been watching the demos, the replays, whatever they had. And they came back guns blazing and truly stepped up to the plate and beat them. I like the that. That is, an, that is interesting stuff. So basically what you're saying is, 
a they Nexus <laughs> almost took it as an advantage that they had lost that map just to see exactly they could because they assumed surely yep. with the win under the belt Phantasmagoria would not change too much about it exactly and you know it worked rather well I think we're going to dive right into live so far so why don't you take us away into the first round of the third map all right then let's see what we've got here future fails is fastane that's another a Nexus fail nade there as we're going to proceed on. Let's see what we've got here. A Nexus with four versus three. Nice play from Jamie. Once again, two frags. He's just starting as he means to go on. Taking down two Golden Oldies players. And where is Raz when you need him? He is in eight. Looking to push Jamie. And Jamie's going to go down finally. Oh, he has caused the damage though. Nice play from Raz. Not going to go down too well though. As he does finally get their round to a Nexus and that is 1-0. Indeed, and uh, actually people asking about apparently we uh, had fun at Land Machine. I think I put you to bed though. That, Indi that well, close. yeah, it put me to bed and I think <laughs> I think water was involved as well. There, there was lots of water. I'm not sure if I took your trousers off though, but uh, let's leave that for another <laughs> day. So, uh, Jamie, Jermaine taking down Raz. Katana will run from tough onto Jermaine, replying, keeping it all even so far. So now the attacking side being Golden Oldies have a slight disadvantage in this map, but let's see how they play it. Zikox in the 1v1 getting the better of Volks there, making his way up B-Long, leaving in a 3-on-2 advantage to a Nexus, and Zikox spots on towards Jens, gets the tag but not the frag. There's a touch of a slither of health coming off of Katana. He's now made his way towards A at Jens. So be careful, because there is a player B-Long, and if he doesn't look in the right way at the right time, he's going to fall to it. And Elkin getting tagged up so heavily, I thought he was actually dead. But he does somehow rejuvenate that HP. Stormy, Stormy well. great play from him. Indeed, makes way onto that sandbag area, dropping down and back around. Oh, coming out, Elkin dropping down a couple of uh, shots there. Katana shuts down Dickox, leaving it a 2v2, all even now. Elkin has to be careful not to drop Stormy though, and he's not doing that at all. He takes him down, and Katana and Elkin simply sensational play between them. I can't believe they brought that back. Indeed, I'm into the 1 1. And uh, let's go with Elkin. Elkin has got the bomb. In fact, I think either uh, did he fail that straight or has he just been cheeky? <laughs> I think he's kind of he's you know he's playing it cool you know pretending that was that was intentional but at the moment we see you know, is that a fail out. smoke as well? So the mid is open oh, for his picking as both teams are really making the mistakes. Case this start opens up the fray though as does Zikox. Nice play on that B alley area. Nexus five man strong. Nice play from Katana. Takes down because start on hard. We're bringing it back. Into the uh, the reaches of Go. Dickox looking for the frag on B long. Nice play from El King. Brings it to two v one. And where on earth is El King? Making his way. Is he rotating to B? You cheeky bean. He's going to be forced Ooh. back into A though by Stormy. Stormy oh. lands two deagle tags as El King bleeds out on his retreat through mid. Surely Jamie's going to have a little peek. Stormy's actually watching it. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. That was Jermaine just absolutely, wow. just not thinking straight. As suddenly Elking has brought this one back from the brink. He's literally got 1v1 now. Stormy, that on her sandbags. He's got a strong position. If this works, if he can get that bomb. Oh, and he has been cheeky. Stormy's almost completely fooled into thinking it's an aided the bomb site. Elking starts to rotate, lands the tag and the frag! Elking! Oh, oh absolute warrior! Brilliant stuff. Simply well played to him. You can't deny him a moment of that. So let's pick up a katana here, the guy on the tag, the uh, man who's coming under a lot of scrutiny from chat, from Tech9, from the whole lot. Let's see if we can get the better of Stormy. It's one going up onto that sandbag area. Goes for the second peak, does manage to land it. Comes back around, drops out an A towards eight. Helping his teammates out, hoping that that quick and fast A push is ha you know, happening, and Duffer is doing just that. Darts out towards back A, going for the aggressive push and getting punished what? for it. What was he doing? Future takes him down. Jamie with a frag for himself onto his own teammate. So now leaving it all possible for Golden Oldies who have truly taken on this site. But there is a man with a plan, and that man may be Future now. Peeking into the A window, does take down Revolt, does take down Raz as well. He knew exactly where they were. Simply clinical peek. So now, one man does remain towards eight, but surely not for long, as the shots are rattling off. Jamie, still there as well. Future with another frag. Future really dominating this whole A site. Elkin tries to peek and gets punished for even thinking he can by KZ. So it's a really well played to Future there. He truly held A, even with you know, three or four players in there. 
Yes, indeed. Gonna go with Future this round as he's absolutely storming towards there. Let's see how that defensive SMG translates for the Hungarian. Nice starting nade once again. The next seem to have a strength in just getting these opening picks. And Future, undaunted, makes his way into bottom eight, considering pushing out. And that would be the right move at the moment. We see very slow play from Go, but he's gonna, you know, that's it, fine. Just not gonna take any unnecessary risks because he does get a nade out towards Fridge. Revolts does relocate to Bialy. That there is a play to intercept Bialy, actually. Oh, and Zucox's leg just sticking out into thin air. And Nexus do continue to pull away, though. 4v2 now. There is Katana. Katana does have the SMG. Uh, does have SMG. Not going to support the nade, though. And Stormy causing utter destruction on B long. There's one player remaining. It is Revolts, and Revolts is going aggressive. Stormy. Taking no risks, watching that push. Oh, and he pre-aimed it, just no success. Revolts has got three already. Can he go for that all-important ace to bring the advantage home for Golden Oldies? Spots Jamie on King Cart. Not going to get the frag, though. Looking for that re-peak, and it's not been given to him. Great play from Jermaine, just playing the time. Both players have the same idea, though, and that is 3-2. <laughs> And you get Jermaine dot 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 revolts upset at how that panned out. So let's pick up with Stormy the scope for the uh, defending side, which is the Nexus, who are currently leading the way with only one round in, in advance. But there's Katana, and what a peak! So confident, takes him down with a headshot, and now we've got to see if the Nexus can pull this back. The Nexus now with a player disadvantage. Can they hold this A side? And oh my god, Future, not like that! <laughs> Zikox walked out at the wrong <laughs> time! And Future just shot him. Right he saw him, literally, he just kind of watched and him Katana. in slow motion. <laughs> Did Katana just do it completely through a wall? I didn't even see him, but Katana knew exactly where he was with the headshot. And now Raz makes his way towards back eight just to really secure the A side. Katana with another frag onto Jermaine. Raz almost making a meal of that frag onto KZ Star, laughing at it himself. So I think he got a little bit lost in that smoke, but Katana, what a round. <laughs> All right, let's go with Katana. The man has just got an utter stonking wallbang as he is making his way to get that opening A push. I think his teammate's head just caused a little bit too much fear for him to go for that one. That's a slower round. No opening picks. Finally, Duffercut, you know, uh, provides us with one. It was KZ Star going down. That's one AK down, and Duffer returns to the safety of V-Long as the Nexus get a nice late nade. It was Zikox who brought that one home onto A-Bin. We are now in a 4v3. In B long, Stormy just chilling in spawn house. Doesn't need to do anything else. Just sit and wait. Jermaine gonna get taken down by Katana. That's a vital frag because that opens up that B push from Duffer. As we do go with Duffer now, as he is pushing all the way around. Stormy's there. Stormy gets the frag. Stormy just so good at predicting where these players are gonna be going. As we do see a 1v3. Stormy, you already got one. Can he get the full four? And it's not going to happen. Raz gets the frag and brings it 4-3. Go. Running away with it. I say running away with it. <laughs> it is 4-3. But I have to... S but from, from what I've heard about, you know, a Nexus performance against Fan, I yep. was expecting a bit more of a walkover. Yeah, but let's pick up with Katana here. The man who's coming under a hell of a lot of questioning in chat. And I can see just as to why. Because the man did just get our three shots that were so cheeky. But uh, Zikox and KZ start racking up frags each. Katana spot one and eight. And you can imagine his future, he was there before, rattling off the shots through those wooden windows, hoping that one of them land. None of them do, but Duffer's there, the Duffer machine, taking on Jermaine and getting the better of him. Now the frag's going left, right and centre, and the Nexus seems to come out better on this round by quite a way, leaving Katana in a 1v3. Does manage to get towards that bomb, picks it up, and an AK. So now, give himself a chance in this round, does get tagged from A, he's got to be careful because there's three players remaining, getting tagged up again. Stormy, you've got to be kicking yourself, but there's Future. He's not letting this one slip, bringing it all even to a 4v4. But uh, what do you think of Katana so far? There's been a lot of um, accusations. I'm not understanding now. these accusations, honestly. I mean, really? I know I have the, like, the ability to watch him full spec. In fact, let's go with him this round just to give you guys like, you know, a full overview. But I have to say, the, nothing dodgy is going on. I could, I mean, I could be eating my words in a couple of weeks' time, but right now, this guy, he's literally just, he's a strong player. He's, he's listening to comms, he's reacting to them. And I think, you know, I think I've seen one or two wall bangs which are all on calls or red dots. Which, I mean, they're all justified. Right now he's watching B-Long 1, we do see one pushing, it was Jermaine. And he does see, we do see a very fast plant from Go. Raz almost con convincingly taking down KZ start. I'm not going to say what happened there, that was literally uh, an explosion on back 8. There we go, questionably, a questionable frag. As Elking puts the bullets in on that mid-A player, it's Stormy. Stormy's surely not going to get away with this one. No, Revolt's going to take him down. 
And we do see that, I mean, I wasn't wrong, Ras has the worst cover in the game, coming from Duffer. I mean, I don't know, he got the frag eventually, but it wasn't certainly, it wasn't something for yeah. the uh, history books. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not. So let's pick it up with Raz, hopefully, to make a meal of it. And let's embarrass him if he does it wrong, because his fiance is watching KZ start getting the frag onto Elking. The man who's doing so well on backlot is now down and out. Let's see if Golden Oldies can pick up where he left off. Still with the frag onto Duffer. Raz has to get into it, and he can't do it, because Jermaine is there. Oh, he's trained on those stone stairs, leaving only two. Make it one for Golden Oldies. As KZ star drops down, revolts Katana with the nose scope, doesn't land it. Zikox did walk up that B long area, just carefree, and bringing the scoreline to five up to five. Yes, indeed, and I'm really impressed with the way Goa are playing. Bomb is in the hands of... I swear I saw it. Yeah, it is in the hands now of Raz. Raz, the SMG, let's see where he takes this. He has just dropped it outside blue before he continues on his trek. Stormy opened up nicely onto Katana. The scope's now down, and the freedom is there. Nice play from Jermaine as well. Oh, and Revolts should have landed that fragment of Future. Future getting away with the scars of war. Duffer bringing the first and only appears frag for Goat as an Nexus do pick up for their fourth and now all on Elking. Elking, he's done it once, can he do it twice? Not Elking, it was Revolts. That was pro that was the lovely promo overlay bug for you. Indeed. And there we go, we do see 6-5 and a Nexus. If they go if they go for 7-5, I think that's definitely what they're aiming for. 6-6 six, six mm. is a lovely level playing field and it does leave Go with the defensive side. Yeah, indeed, and obviously being on attack, you, you want to keep it as close as possible, but you do appreciate you're on the harder half as such. So if Golden Oldies can pick up another round, I'm sure they'll be more than happy. Future, though, taking the chance, almost away with them, dropping the nade onto Raz's face, but surely Duffer's feeling a little bit better, considering the questionable cover that was coming out. Here's their slow one onto Revolts, Jermaine with another. This is looking very much like an Nexus round. Future with a peek out of that window, demolishing Elking. And now one man stands between a beautiful scoreline and a good scoreline. And not for long, so the needs are raining through the roof, folks. And that was from Zikox, leaving it in a 5-7 to seven scoreline in favour to a Nexus. Yeah, really, I'm to be honest, I think a Nexus couldn't be any happier with that. I think they've got they've yeah. got the uh, they've got that kind of advantage. I think 7-5 and 6-6, six, six, it may be one round advantage, but it, on the half, it just feels so much better. It feels like the advantage is there, and I think that can be so key to some people's mindset. Yeah. Still, what have we got here? Let's go with... Blah. Let's go with Elking. Elking, I know he's playing AK. I just want to see how he uh, how he plays the defense. I know so, uh, some people, but as an AK myself, I do like to see how these players uh, present themselves. Flow play at the moment. Katana does get the opening frag onto Jermaine. Elking looking to go aggressive on mid-street, and there are players pushing it. Mid-street, mid, 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 mid. Did see one go towards that doorway. Interesting positioning from him. He's kind of made it so it's impossible to be seen by Broken Wall, as we do see a slow round coming in from the Nexus side. Not going to happen much though for Go as they do storm into A. Raz... Is there one below Raz or are they above him? Okay, Zedsta goes down to Raz's Deagle. There's a player near him as he doesn't get him. Dodoffa goes down. Zikox gets two. Both SMGs just spanked by Zikox. I wasn't sure what was going on there. But Zikox just defending like a boss as he just storms into A site. You'd think he was defending. Did have the bomb in his hands though. And Katana ended what looked to be an absolute streak. Yeah, indeed. Let's see, let's see how Katana plays on the defensive side with that scope. See if he's willing to challenge Stormy on B-Long. Does go for the peak. Doesn't spot the opposing scope, though, but he's trying to cover Duffer as much as possible. There we go. Spot Stormy on the, on the B-Long. Surely going to call that to Duffer and help him out. And Duffer takes down Jermaine. Can he keep up that pace? Let's switch across. Zikox dropping down revolts, Elking getting the better of Zikox in reply, leaving it in a 3v4, make it a 3v3 because Future does alleviate the way into A now, taking the bomb with him, this could be a plan that could really help out the Nexus side just to keep him into this round, before uh, any frags go in the way of the Golden Oldies, that's fine after the keep hold of this and the bomb is now down and ticking, Future gets dropped by Katana, I couldn't even see Future then, I blinked and I missed it, leaving KZ Star and Stormy to keep track of that bomb. Elking takes down one of them. Now one man remains, and it is Stormy. Man's known for his clutching ability, and Smoke's now literally plume out right in front of him. He's got to be panicking. And now the flying duffer comes in way. And now the defuse is surely going to be taken down by Elking. <clears throat> Bringing it all even. 7-7. Seven to seven. This is such a close game. I still can't believe how close this has been. I don't know if this is, you know, a little bit of a show of having a Merc, and it can, you know, really affect your team play. Or the Golden Oldies have really improved. I mean, yeah, I, I think everyone kind of went into this with the Nexus fa favourites, and at the moment, it can go either way. Great play from Go. Really impressed with the SMGs of Go, especially. I think Raz is doing a brilliant job alongside uh, Duffer. 
still. Zikox is the one doing getting all the frags at the moment. Taking down Duffer this time. Looking for the second. Future goes down to Raz. Looking for that second. Raz not going to get the tag. Or the frag, rather. Did get the tag. As we are in a 4v3. Make that 3v3 as Elking play in sandbags. Replacing almost exactly the same spot that Stormy was in. As Jermaine gets a cheeky double. All on Raz. Raz is on A. The bomb, however, is in A as well. Which gives him that advantage. You Well, you'd hope. As he does get taken down, like I said, start just hitting his prone key in back A. And Anexus bring it to 8-7. And they're really going to be trying to pull away now. I think Go are just going to have to hold on, kind of, you know, let, let concede the rounds that they can't complete, but just really smash the ones they can. And that's where the advantage needs yeah. to grow. Yeah, and you can see Anexus now not really overly attacking any side. They've dropped out the nades and they've sat back and they're just waiting for it to come to... Come, to, come good almost. Jermaine getting the frag onto Rans. KZ Star did land those nades at the start of the round. Taking down El King Storm with the frag onto Duffer now. Opening up A almost completely. There's only one man standing at A and I can imagine it's going to be El King. Let's find out. Future on the push. Bomb coming in not too far behind. They've got to be careful because there is a player just above them. It's Revolt. Thank you Overlay Bug. But can Revolt make the impact while he can? Katana did pick up too. But uh... There is still a hell of a lot in front of these these guys. So Revolt's getting the better of... I believe it was Stormy there on that small chopper leaving. It all on Revolt and now he can't do it because Future was watching that peak and they knew he was there. But uh, that was a close round nevertheless. But the scoreline is now slowly but surely working in favour to a Nexus when it's And not that is how they work. They're just kind of... Uh, how did you describe them earlier? Clinical. Clinical is a brilliant yep. way of describing Nexus because they literally are just picking apart, you know, they will just yeah. analyze exactly what they're, what they're being faced with and at the moment go are facing them with quite a solid defense, but maybe stacking A is the way forward and then we do see two Nexus SMGs just disappear into A and let's see how that comes out for them. Raz does get the frag onto Chopper, surely KZ Stars should have learned by now, Raz has been taking him down, I think it's three rounds in a row, as well as the bomb being free for them now, go, certainly have the advantage, Elking though heavily tagged. It's going to be a Jermaine to go down though, courtesy of Katana's scope. Uh, Stormy spots, tags, not frags though, as Duffer ends uh -huh. it. Great play from him and Katana as well, mm -hmm. and we do see 9-8. And, I mean, that was a vital round once again. They're really just closing the gap. Yeah, indeed. Let's pick it up with Stormy. Picks up the bomb. Maybe uh, keeping it safe. They don't overly push to any side. You can see both the SMGs dropping nade out towards back A. Zikox with that nade coming up good, taking down Elking. Now, Nexus with the advantage into this first, this this round. Can they keep hold of it? Let's find out. Nades running out. Jamie dropping on towards Abin, but Raz chimes in with a dealer himself, evening this uh, scoreline now into this round. It's now 4v4. Elking and KZ will just have to watch their teams and see who comes out the better on this one. Jermaine peeks into lower eight, but Zikox has wormed his way down to B-bomb, but Duffer's there, and Duffer's not letting him even get in a peek onto it. So now only two remain for Nexus, Future and Stormy. Future's made his way into this hardware section and sure he's going to pounce out onto the player that's on B-Long. He's doing just that. Takes down Duffer. There's a player right in front of him. He's got to be careful because Revolt is there. And Revolt is AK. was trained on B-Long. And now, folks, it is 9-9. Golden Old is picking up two rounds in quick succession. Pulling it back ever closer. So maybe... Being a what? Where was Katana! That? Did you see that tag as well? Katana was, was doing the wall bang from spawn straight through hardware. And it, that is so close to taking Future down. Mother of God. Future managed to get away with it though. But Katana, you cheeky, cheeky man. Future tries to get it away. Katana, I mean, it was delayed. But he did get the frag eventually. As the Nexus do have a one-man advantage bomb. Looking to go down from KZ Star. Actually, fakes it. Then he holds it. As El King gets the frag on top hardware. Bomb goes down though. Advantage shifts to a Nexus. But not for long. As where is El King? Okay, no, I lied. Elking is in a spot of bother. Not going to last long. Stormy with a second, and that's 10-9. And Nexus extend their lead. And let's just see if this, if if uh, if history is anything to go by, we're going to see a go round right now. Yeah, but let's find out. Katana not going for uh, the usual peak, taking on the scope through that midsection, almost like he thought. Okay, Stormy's been trying to spam this. Let me let me challenge him right now. Duffer dropping down to Zikok his nade because they did have that real bad A spawn. Both of them there now. Elking down to Stormy's work. And now it's looking very much like in the Nexus round, but Revolt takes a stand, but gets punished for doing just that, because KZ Star replies as soon as he shot down his teammate. So now two players remain for Golden Oldies, one being Katana, one being Raz. And make it just Raz now, as there we go, Jermaine takes down Katana, and now Raz has to pull this back to keep trend of how the rounds are falling before. It does spot Stormy, but Stormy's there with a the perfect peak with that SMG. He must have picked up from the fallen teammate. And now... 
This is very much looking like an Nexus map. Okay then, future, what can you bring to the table this time? Not going to get wall burned by Katana, I can hope. As what? Sorry, where is that nade going, I don't young man? I don't know anymore. Uh, anyway, nothing came of it. As it does look to be a 5v4. And X is starting as they mean to go on. Jermaine getting a frag onto revolts on A. As I think Duffer Zikox. just saw that nade going out. Dickox. Yeah. Dickox is bottom way. It's a good shot there. As he's literally just loaded a full 30 bullets into the wall. Future's there for the reload. And that, I mean, <gasps> that is so subtle. But what? It worked, yeah. It just, it, they, they literally just kind of... It sounds old fashioned. It's kind of like the red coats, you know, one reloads, one shoots. It's stupidly old fashioned. <laughs> and it works. And that was apt. I, I'm impressed by that because that is stratted. And, you know, that's not something you see often. I don't know. Uh, sorry. I'm, I'm blabbing. But that is incredible. You're enjoying it, aren't you? You're so, you're, I like you're that. Just it makes me happy. I just, I like, I like the fact that those are both kind of organized. Like, okay, I'll unload these bullets. Then when I reload, they'll peek and uh, I'll be there. Oh, okay. Future yeah, and Zikox just happy, holding hands in bottom A. Oh, <laughs> Anyway, moving swiftly on from that camp outburst, we're going to see a 1v3. KZ start on Link. Spots one dropping down. No way! Elkin getting absolutely punished for that. Looking for the second hit fire. Not going to happen. Duffer bleeding out, but gets the frag nonetheless. And we are seeing 11 10 closer and closer to this 12 12. Indeed, and it looks like both groups are going to go for the peak onto B long. So picking up here with Katana. Let's see if Stormy's going for it. He's actually not. He's peeking through mid where Katana was last round. Now Katana spots Stormy darting away. Doesn't manage to land the frag, but Zikox's nades have been so potent. It's always chipping off the players away from Golden Knowledge. Duffel having to work his absolute arse off to get the frag onto Jermaine. Now, all even. But for how long has Raz now chimes in for a frag for himself as he felt left out of this little flurry of work from both sides? It's now advantage with Golden Knowledge. Can they claw back this round to bring it all even? Let's see if they can do just that. Duffer in the right direction, shutting down Future, leaving Stormy and Zikox to bring this back from the brink of destruction. As they're doing just that, Zikox working B-Long like an absolute boss. Shuts down Revolt with just pretty much ease. But now there's going to be a player right in front of him, just around this corner. I'm not sure who it is. Maybe it's Duffer, maybe it's Raz. Let's find out in just a second. But Zikox has to retreat a touch and hope that maybe Stormy can get a peek here, get a pick, open up any sort of area. He's not what is Duffer thinking? Duffer is he's working out nades in his head that is just going to strike or something. Duffer on the peak towards T-Wall. Spots Stormy gets a beautiful deagle. <gasps> there was no recoil, folks. I think that was something to do with his camo, his resolution, something. But it was stunning. And now Zikox has to get this round. Darts out of... Oh, darts was the wrong word. He crawls <laughs> out of hardware. Iron sighting around like an absolute boss. Must spot one here towards the red guy. He does spot him but doesn't get the frag or the tag. Now he's got to make his way towards A. Does tag up Duffer. Deagles though, really? everywhere. Wow. Cannot believe that. Even landed. It's now 14 seconds. Everybody's going to go for this bomb, but surely Duffer's eyes are going to be trained on it. They aren't. Duffer is darting out like a madman. And Duffer. Oh, can you believe it? Mother of God. The bullets just accelerated out of Steagle. <laughs> Guys, we need to just sit back, cool down for a second, because we're all excited right now. But uh, Katana now taking down Jermaine, but Machina, you calm down yet? You okay. Oh. Okay, my lungs are back with full fill with air. And we're going to progress into this round. Our Nexus once again on the back foot. Go, just pulling the rounds out when it matters. As Stormy looking to get the frag onto top eight. Doesn't succeed, though. Uh, I can only assume that's... Uh, actually, it's not Raz. I was wrong. It was Duffer. Duffer just playing the, the deagle on top eight. And I'm not sure how he's getting away with it. Still... Oh, he's done it! He's taken Stormy down with the Deagle, and not many SMGs would have the testicles to go ahead with something like that. But ladies and gentlemen, Duffer did, peaked a Nexus scope, and out deagled him from top 8. You're going to have to jump into the next round as well, because my uh, COD4 has killed itself. All right, then. We are on 12-11. Match point is on the cards for the Golden Oldies side, and it looks so good for a Nexus at one point. Still, let's see where this goes. Elking starts. It means to go on. Stormy down. That's the scope down. Let's go with Future, as he has got great positioning on 8. Still though, go absolutely smashing it, KZ Star and Zikox, last two men standing. Future in a spot of bother. Still, I think Zikox is the man to watch. He's pushing. What is Zikox doing as a player right on his level? A cheeky monkey. As he is just literally. Oh, who is that? I can't ever feel sorry for him. It is Elking. Elking's there. Revolts is directly above him. Ladies and gentlemen, I love screenshotting this or something. Because literally, Zikox is upon Elking's. I don't want to say, I can't say anything. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm in disbelief. Zikox just dancing around. Finally, 
finally take down, <laughs> followed by Duffer. Oh. <laughs> he was just sat there, just I don't know what he was doing. Who knows? Anyway, GG's coming out from a Nexus. They was calling it the game over already, but future. I mean, we need to, you know, this maybe future. Wow. Nope, never mind. That's Cheesy Land didn't even get a chance to come out. As we do see, game set and match. Golden Oldies take it two to one, <laughs> and uh, wow, quite a game. Yeah, just for guys who you inspect, because I know you didn't see what happened then. Um, Duffer flew off the roof after landing a beautiful deal on Stormy. Not Iron Sighted, leapt to absolute victory and shut down. I'm not sure who it was, maybe in KZ Star, who was walking into A. And it was stunning. It was absolutely stunning.